Alrighty, everybody. Welcome back to Blender Seth. A um, couple of things. I do have a website for Blender Seth. I haven't started it yet, but I'm going to install WordPress on it. We're going to get it going. And uh, I'm going to make it a blend, uh, Blender uh, tutorial site, a membership site, for those of you that want to go into really advanced uh, Blender stuff and complicated, you know, get into animations and character building and stuff like that. Um, it's been asked by I think one or two people, and uh, so we'll we'll go ahead and do that and see how that uh, ends up working out in the end. But I'm always, you know, I'm here to help people, even if it's one or two people, you know, to get started. And uh, this is what we're going to be, you know, this has come up to, you know. All the free stuff on YouTube is going to be done on my iMac, my 2015 iMac. As you can see, I'm in Windows in this uh, in this setup. And to answer a question that was posed, um, people ask me, you know, about my my porn videos and what happens, you know, if I uh, get hired on Upwork to do uh, media uh, video or complicated, you know large scene and you know this is how I would do it because I don't I don't have you know a five ten thousand dollar you know powerhouse machine and I don't use you know I don't use I don't do big complicated scenes like that too often um, like I said I mainly uh, make single models and everything to sell on online sites um, and stuff like you know larger files like you know uh, uh, rendering a whole uh, porn animation or something would be do done here and this is uh, vapor.io and uh, you rent you rent the servers here and this is why I'm gonna have the membership site you know because all of the videos for the uh, membership site will be done with this version of blender uh, because it's you know like I said here let's take a look need to set because you see it's got a GPU and it's got a Tesla T4 it's running an Intel Xeon Platinum 8259 CL uh, CPU so we got a lot better specs here on this machine for high performance you know I can render with the, C G uh, the CPU or we can switch over to GPU computing for large stuff and everything and it just runs you know faster and better and it's more better for t teaching the more intermediate advanced stuff uh, on my iMac and on YouTube I, you know a lot of I got a, a lot of new people you know they're, they're just now learning uh, what a vert and a face and you know and what 3d is you know the XYZ coordinates and you know, all of that and they're going to be learning blender from scratch they you know they, they don't know any of that they don't know you know how, what any of this does and so that's what I'm going to be doing now on on the YouTube channel is just using my iMac and going through everything, teaching how each you know individual setting, each individual thing works. Yeah, that might take a while, but um, I'll try to get through it as quickly as I can. The most common, uh, the most common and most popular things that you'll be using the most, um, the most common. You know, we'll go over texturing and stuff like that. But as far as uh, Modifiers and physics and stuff like that would just touch on the most uh, common things that you'd need it for, you know, like drapes and, you know, stuff like that. Depends on, I guess that depends on whether you get into architectural and visual and stuff like that. But that's the whole point of this. The whole point of learning Blender is for us to get to photorealistic, where we're making uh, realistic photos, whether that be architecture or animations or, you know, cartoons or whatever gaming assets you know whatever you're going to be doing and like I said this you know there's a they gone you know it's a regular Windows machine so you know it's, it's even got power cell that's funny I didn't even notice that but and this is the, the this machine that I'm using is 99 cents an hour and it's a uh, seven dollars and 99 cents a month for forty for seventy five gigabytes of uh, hard disk storage, 
you know, for your programs and what you're doing. And of course, you can get more. You know, you can get rent bigger space for you know more money and stuff. You can add to it and you know get a hundred, two hundred, whatever you know, whatever it is that you need. But like I said, um, for me, this this is just like a render farm. I mean, you know, I only go into here. You know, if I'm using this a service. Um, and like I said, you only get charged when you use it. So I mean, you could set this could sit here and, and you know for two months, you know, and your money is still there. If you you know if you don't use it, you you know you don't uh, they don't charge you nothing. You only get charged when you log into the VM and when you use it, and that's it. I mean, I can I can uh, even on my little 2015 iMac, I can put a large seat. Well, you know what? Let me see, chip. Uh, for those of you that, um, let me, let's give us somewhere around here. I have right here. This is from Chip Walters, the guy that does uh, KidOps. And see this this file. It's 186 megabytes. This does not run on my iMac. So we'll use this as an example, and we'll show you guys here. We'll open this up. And this is, uh, for those of you that, you know, are on his Discord and stuff, I think this was released on his Discord. And uh, see how quickly that came in? I mean, I'm already, you know, and we're already moving around. You know, we're seeing the HDRI, you know. I can find out, you know. The point of view that I want to take, you know, that I want to take, pick, you know, picture of her. I can zoom in. You know, we can get in close here. You know, whatever we want to do. And you see how quick that is. Um, oh, there we go. Let's go over. See how long render, render takes to come in. This is the viewport. I, I didn't even check. I believe it's an EV. No, it's a cycles, but that's all right. This will give a, a good preview. Uh, but uh, you, you know, we're talking you know a million edges, five hundred thirty-eight thousand faces, four hundred fifty thousand vertices, um, and you know we're just you know going along as you know best we could in here. And this is like I said, this is a nine-nine cent machine. Now, for large animations, you know, for like you know. 400 frame, you know, a thousand frame, you know, animations and stuff, something that would tie a computer up, roll out real far. I can, I can get out of this 99 cent one. I can go back to my uh, login window, and there's uh, another option in there. I, I forgot the name of it. I think Octave or something like that. But anyway, it's a 192 gigabyte uh, machine. We're talking, you know, mega powerhouse here. And uh, from my experience, you know, a, a 400 to 800 or so frame animation that's pretty in depth. On a, I think I saw the benchmark on a, on a 1080, um, it takes like 17 hours. And on this one here, on this plan, which is the planet plan, the 99 cent one, it takes like, uh, I think it was 11, 11 and a half hours to render it. But on the large pan, which is eight dollars and ninety nine cents uh, an hour, it'll render it in four minutes. And so, you know, if I get, if I get myself into you know a huge, huge, huge you know animation and stuff, you know, you can uh, turn the render on and and you know get it rendering and leave it. You know, just leave, stay logged in and leave it render in the background. It's not on your machine. You know, this is remote. This is on a, a powerful cloud server. And um, let's go back. Switch back to over here. But yeah, see, I can you know I can switch out of this. You know, I can go back to my normal PC right here, my normal Mac. And while while this here you know sets for the next four hours or so rendering. So it works as a it works as a high performance machine for me. You know, to do my you know in-depth work, and uh, you know everything works still you know like you like it would in you know any other computer that you see people do it on YouTube. Most people on YouTube are using you know an RTX of some kind, you know whether it's a 3090 or or whatever. 
And uh, that's why, you know, they're modeling and, you know, they're doing stuff so smoothly. You know, if I was to click on, you know, one of these and, you know, want to edit or something or add or, you know, subtract or, you know, do something, you know, who knows, but uh, except that. Yeah. Probably went too far. But anyway, you get the idea. We'll just go ahead and clear this out. I just wanted to show you the difference, you know. I wouldn't have been able to, that that file would have probably still been loading on my iMac. <laughs> I mean, I would I would sit there with the uh, little hourglass, you know, rolling around still. I mean, it wouldn't even have come in yet. So, and we've already previewed it, looked around, zoomed in, zoomed out, done stuff with, you know, and everything. Put it in render mode, full render mode. I mean, and and uh, now we're out of it. And yeah, I'd still be waiting for it to load in the iMac. But uh, I just wanted to put this video out here because to show you guys, you know, because I, I, you know, like I said, a couple of you have asked what I do, you know, if I get a job or something like that because I do this for money. And you're like, well, if you do it for money, you know, how do you do it on your iMac if, you know, a big project comes along? And, you know, this is why I didn't get into this, you know, because I, I knew about this uh, service and everything. And, you know, and so I figured, okay. I got to show these people, you know, what you what they would do, but you know, you can't you can't do this yet because you got to learn Blender. Um, remember, and this is why I'm teaching you guys. We're not doing projects, you know. I'm teaching you the tools and what they do and the problems that you could that could be foul you and each one. Like bevel, we're going to learn bevel inside and out and show you the problems that it could cause you and everything, and just on the cube and spheres and torus and stuff like that. So, because you need to know these things, because uh, when you get, you know, if this is what you want to do, if you don't want to, you know, spend the huge amount of money on a uh, full, you know, power machine, you know, if you want to drop 5000 or whatever on, you know, uh, uh, Xeon, you know, well, that's a, a Xeon is a server, the 8259 is a server CPU, but I doubt you get that, but like a Thunder, uh, Threadripper or, you know, an i9 or, you know, and an and a RTX 3090 or, you know, whatever the, the latest bells and whistle is, a tit Titan or, you know, if you don't want to do that, you know, this is the next best thing. And if you don't need a powerful computer all the time, like me, you know, if you don't render, uh, you know, large animations, you know, all the time, or if you're not working on large, large files all the time, um, this is what you can get into. And like I said, I can switch, you know. I'm in the 99 cent one per hour now, which is uh, the machine I showed you here. But you know, if this got too big, or or if I'm done here and it's a you know animation, whatever, 200 frames or whatever, or what you know, whatever it is, you know, if I want to get it done quickly, or if I'm you know on a deadline and I'm a little you know a little behind, you know, I can just log right out of this and choose the uh, 192 gigabyte machine, the the high end server, jump right into that. All this stuff, all my files, everything, it's the same thing. Everything is still here. And I can jump into that and everything and just render it out real quick and then jump back into this. But, you know, the clients are paying for that. And when you're, when you're spending money like that, you know, when you're, when you're doing even at 99 cents, you know, uh, a minute, uh, or maybe not a, minute, not a minute, at 99 cents an, an hour, you know, when you're getting charged, you know, for sitting here, you know, you, you don't want to be like, you know, putting in a cube, you know, and all of a sudden you're like, oh, man, you know, she's, you know, that's not working. You know, how can I get this to work? You know, and you don't want to be sitting here figuring all this stuff, you know, your problems and shading issues. And, uh, you know, when you, when the clock is ticking, you know, when you're running, you know, when you get in, you know, when you get into this part or this server, you know, when you get into working in here, you want to be able to go bam, 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 like you, know, like you see all the tutorials on uh, on uh, YouTube. You know, people knocking out stuff in you know 20 minutes, 40 minutes, you know what? And they're just going one right, right, one right after the other. You know, they're just going boom, boom, cutting this and cutting that, splicing that, beveling this, and but you know, and when they run into a problem, you know, you're like, oh, okay, okay, you look at it, and you're like, oh, I see what's happening, and fix it, and then go back to work. You know, that's what you need to. That's the level that you need to get at in here. Um, you know, you don't want to be, you know, doing something and, 
you know, spend an hour or two trying to figure it out, then you can't figure it out. So you get on a chat or something, or get on Discord and ask a question. Uh, might not get answered right away, so you're waiting on that to get answered, you know, which means you, you probably already logged out of your server. Then when someone does answer, now you gotta log back into the server and start it up again. You know, it takes about five minutes, you know, to get the server log, you know, started up and and you know, open your bl open Blender, go back to your file, and if you haven't forgot what you were trying to do, you know, then that, you can continue. <laughs> but you know, that's you know, that's a you know, you don't want to be getting into that. You know, you want to be able to get in here and model and do what you need to do, render it out. Um, if there's problems in the rendering, if there's problems, you know, if the imaging coming out the way you like, you need to be able to come back in here, go into the lighting or texturing or whatever it is, and figure out and get it to look the way you want it to look. Um, this is all on you. You don't need to be hitting forums and stuff up, you know, asking, how do I do this? How do I do that? You know, uh, um, because, you know, that's just not what it's all about, uh, especially if you want to be a freelancer. You know, you got a client waiting. The clock is ticking. You know, if he gave you five hours to do a project or, you know, eight hours or whatever, where it says, he comes to you all of a sudden and says, you know, I need this in, you know, four hours. Or my team needs this in four hours. You know, if you're not done in four hours, you know, then you're you're holding us up. You know, this is why we're hiring you. You know, you know what you're supposed to know what you're doing. You know, and we we're short a guy or whatever, so we need someone to jump right in here and you know into our pipeline, know and realize and, and know what's going on, and uh, you know help us out like you were an employee of our own. You know, and this is this is what free ventures do. They're kind of you know. I know it's a bad, it used to be a bad thing, a jack of all trades, but in 2022, it's not. Um, the more you can do nowadays, especially with, you know, companies being shorthanded, you know, a lot of people don't want to go back to work in the office, you know, and everything. They work, they work like I do, they work on computer and my computer and stuff, and they're like, why do I need to go back in the office? All this stuff could be done remotely. I could work here from home. You know, we don't need to go back into office anymore. You know, so that's causing problems and, you know, stuff like that, so... Freelancers are getting hired quite a bit right now. You know, if you've got a good portfolio and, you know, you got some connections or you can market yourself and, and brand yourself very well, um, that will go a long ways. But first, before anything, you got to learn the program to where you know it yourself. You know, like my name, Blender Sith. You know, you need to be a Sith when it comes to Blender, you know. You need to be able to operate Blender like uh, a Star Wars Sith operates a sword. I mean, not, not a sword, <laughs> a lightsaber. You know, you need to use the Force. <laughs> I don't, uh, well, you know, I try, I try. But anyway, um, just wanted to show you guys uh, this setup, answer your questions on, you know, you know, what could you do, you know. After I learn, you know, after you learn Blender, do I really need to go out and get a, you know, a 5,000 plus, you know, computer or whatever, big graphics card or whatever, you know, to do my work, you know, and just say, no, no, you don't. You know, that's, the reason I didn't bring this up is because that's more down the road. You know, you guys got to learn Blender first. You know, you got to learn how to 3D model and then how to make art, make, then make it photorealistic with light and textures, bump maps, and all that stuff, and uh, yeah, one step at it, one foot in front of the other. That's what we're doing here. But this is goes to show you don't need to worry about this. You know, there's an answer to everything, and this is the answer to the powerful computer. But uh, when we get here, okay, when we get here. So uh, until next time, enjoy your uh, what is it? Tu uh, Tuesday, yeah. Enjoy your rest of your Tuesday, and. Uh, Open that blender and, and get to get to learning something. Then we'll get then we'll get started. Catch you guys on the flip flop.